please subscribe. General Motors has been building small crossovers for more than a decade now, and it has sold more than 2 million Chevrolet Equinoxes since the model was first introduced for 2005. But despite all that apparent success, the Equinox has always been a bit too big, a bit too thirsty, and a bit too cheaply made to truly penetrate the heart of the market, where the best-selling Honda CRV, Toyota RAV4, Nissan Rogue, and Ford Escape reside. With the all-new, third-generation Equinox, GM finally seems to have figured out what matters in this contentious segment. Fully modern and right size rather than oversize, this redesigned 2018 Equinox strikes us as the first Chevy crossover that could truly make inroads against the segment leaders. Honey, I shrunk the Equinox. It starts with the new Equinox's smaller and lighter body. Compared with its predecessor, the 2018 model's wheelbase is 5.2 inches shorter, its length shrinks by 4.7 inches, and its curb weight is reduced by a claimed 400 pounds. Whereas the outgoing, second-generation Equinox shared much of its underpinnings with the original model dating all the way back to 2005, this one truly is capital and new throughout, with significantly higher torsional rigidity than before. Indeed, the new Equinox soaks up bumps with nary a quiver through the cabin. There's remarkably little body roll and the ride is expertly damped, with well-controlled wheel motions and no sensation of body float. Road and wind noise are impressively hushed, something that two of our favorite small crossovers, the CRV and the Mazda CX-5, struggle with. Combine the Equinox's overall sense of solidity with its nicely weighted, accurate steering and firm, progressive brake pedal, and it adds up to impressive dynamic capabilities. Needs more room. With such solid and composed handling, it's a shame that the standard powertrain isn't more eager. The turbo 1.5-liter inline 4 produces a decent amount of low-end torque, but the lazy 6-speed automatic doesn't make the most of the output. The transmission is keen to shift into higher gears, presumably to benefit fuel economy on the EPA test cycle, which would be more tolerable if the downshifts weren't so sluggish when more power is requested. The little four-cylinder also seems buzzier and less refined than it is in the Malibu sedan, likely because it's working harder to move this heavier crossover. Manual shifting capability is possible in the transmission's L setting but can be operated only by an awkwardly placed toggle switch atop the gear lever, paddle shifters aren't available. Luckily, a more powerful, optional turbocharged 2.0 litre paired with a newer 9-speed automatic transmission arrives in a few months, and it should mitigate these concerns. A 1.6-litre diesel 4-cylinder also joins the menu later this year, promising an impressive 40 miles per gallon on the highway. The 1.5-litre's fuel economy numbers, 28 miles per gallon combined for front-drive models and 26 miles per gallon with all-wheel drive, are above average for the class, although its EPA ratings fall a few mpg short of the CRV's optional 1.5-litre turbo. Engine stop-start, a fuel-saving feature found in few competitors, is standard on the Equinox and it's among the smoothest and least obtrusive of these systems we've sampled, a good thing, considering the only way to turn it off is to move the shifter to the L position. Sea of Sameness Compact crossovers aren't known for design flourish, and the Equinox's relatively nondescript exterior doesn't move the needle. We like its overall proportions, but competitors such as the Mazda CX-5 and the Hyundai Tucson look more athletic and appealing to our eyes. The interior similarly places function over form. It'll look familiar to anyone who's been in the most recent Chevrolet Malibu or Cruze, and it's useful and well organized, if a little staid. The topmost premier trim level uses a nice mix of leather and soft touch plastics, although cheaper materials creep in as you move down the price ladder into the less expensive LT model. L and LS trims are available but Chevrolet didn't have any of those price leaders available for us to drive. 
Two versions of Chevrolet's intuitive MyLink infotainment system are offered, a relatively basic, 7.0-inch touchscreen and an optional, more attractive 8.0-inch screen, but all models include the welcome standard feature of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration. Smarter packaging ensures that rear seat and cargo space are mostly undiminished despite the vehicle's smaller size. The rear seat is well-shaped, provides plenty of room, and can recline slightly, although we do miss the previous model's useful sliding rear bench. A removable false cargo floor and articulating seat bottom cushions create a flush, uninterrupted cargo floor with the 60-40 split rear seat backs folded. The now smaller Equinox does give up some space and overall usefulness to the CRV, which got larger in its recent redesign and is more capacious overall. Too much coin. The Equinox hits a snag when you examine its pricing. Yes, Chevrolet offers a bargain basement, front drive only L trim for just under $25,000, which lines up with the base prices of key competitors. But to get any active safety systems, or even relatively common must have features such as automatic climate control and heated seats, you have to shell out for the LT model and add a pricey option package, pushing the cost toward $30,000, and beyond if you opt for the $1,750 all-wheel drive option. Some of the premier models we drove exceeded $35,000 and the diesel and 2.0T versions will be more expensive still. Perhaps most important, equivalently equipped CR versus NCX5s are thousands less, so unless Chevrolet is planning to offer heavy incentives from the get-go, the Equinox's value equation looks weak. Given the less than stellar previous Equinox models, Chevrolet will face an uphill battle convincing Toyota, Honda, and Ford faithful to join the bow tie fold, especially if they have to pay more for the Chevy. But the new Equinox represents such a big step forward relative to its predecessors that it's certainly worth those buyers giving it a look.